today we are going to learn family member signs. To sign out the word family, you make two F's and you circle them. Family. Family, like a group of people that live in your house. Family. Now, this is also the sign for the sign shape for class. You would make C's, class. It's also the sign for group. Make G's, group. And it's also the sign for team. Make T's, team. Family. Family. Okay, so the people in our family are our mom. Make a five and touch your thumb to your chin. Mom. And our dad, up here on your forehead, dad, because dad is a little bit taller than mom. It's the exact same hand shape on your forehead. Grandma is you bounce it forward twice. Grandma, mom, grandma. And grandpa is dad, grandpa, grandpa. Now the sign for boy is like you're opening and closing your hand on the, base, the bill of a baseball cap, so that's a boy. The sign for girl is you use the A hand and you stroke your thumb right down the side of your cheek. Girl. And this comes from the old bonnet strings that, the bonnets that girls used to wear, the strings on them. Now, if you're signing a female sign, it's going to be below your nose, like mom. And if you're signing a male sign, it's going to be above your nose, like grandpa. Other family member signs are aunt. You're going to make an A and you're going to shake it right here. Aunt. Uncle is going to be a U right up here. Uncle. Cousin would be a C, and you just shake it if it's a girl cousin or it's a boy cousin. Same with niece and nephew. You make an N, niece, nephew. Now let's talk about people in your house. So you have either a son or a daughter. So the sign for daughter is girl, that's a baby. Daughter. And the sign for son is a boy. That's a baby. Son. And the sign for sister is a girl. You're going to make two L's and you're going to stack them on top of each other. Sister. Sister. And the sign for brother is a boy. And you stack them on top of each other. Brother. Brother. Sister. Another great sign to use when you're talking about family members and the places that you live are home and house. The sign for house is just like this. You're just going to make a house. House. And the sign for home is significant of where you eat and you sleep. So you make a flat O. Home. It's where you eat and you sleep. And it's a good idea to, to start using home. And then when you pick your child up from daycare, you can say home. Let's go home. And eventually you'll start to see them sign home when they feel like they need to go home. So those are all of our family member signs. I hope that you learned a lot and you can start using them today. Bye-bye.